Okay, so I went to the Arayakushi flea market at the Arayakushi temple um, because my mom had sent me a link about the flea market to go find some stuff for her. So I finally went to this Sunday because they only have it on the first Sunday of every month. And I looked at in all the information to find the flea market at the shrine it was at and everything said so like, okay, you know, just take everything going west from Takadano Baba to Arayakushi my station. And that was good. I found the station. I found which lines to get off of. And it doesn't actually ma matter what station you're coming from because the Seibu Shinjuku line or Shinjuku Seibu line is one of the smaller lines. It's not a JR line. So you have to get off. And so Arayakushi is in the small, not really a smaller area of Tokyo, but definitely well less traveled because all the bigger areas in Tokyo where you expect to see tourists, everything has, in has English underneath. And this didn't have any English underneath the signs whatsoever, except for a little bit on the map. Now, every um, thing that I read about this flea market, so like, oh, you know, it's just at the shrine, but it didn't say how to get from the train station to the shrine. So I got off the south gate and just thought, maybe the shrine's just across the street, because a lot of places that they don't tell you how to get to where you need to go from the station, that means it's just there. So I had to go find a map and the map was about like just half, just not even that far from the station, and it was all in Japanese. But um, the legend underneath, telling you what the symbols meant, had a little bit of English underneath. So I figured out where the thing was from that, and then I couldn't find it on my GPS function on my phone. So I had to take a picture of the map, and I don't think you could see it well on the video. But basically, the arrow here is the station, and the shrine was all the way up up here. So I had to like look at my phone to make sure I was at the right intersections to turn to get to the sh to get to the shrine, and I got there. I actually found it. It's in a very quiet neighborhood area. There's all these apartment buildings, and I just saw like some old Japanese people there. And there's some cool antiques. There's a few things that I thought, oh, maybe I can get this and this. But then I had to remember, you know, I'm gonna be in Japan for a while. I don't need to be spending all of my money. I want to save money to go to other places. I'm I can take time and come back. This is mostly Christmas shopping. Um, but um, there's a few things that I thought were cool and a few things that I thought were junk, as you can find at any flea market. There's this one guy that was selling a lot of cool old blue china. And I figured, you know, maybe I could buy some for myself later. But it looks like the stuff that is all over home that I have at my house back home in Washington State. And there was one guy that was selling really cool vases. But he was asking too much for it. Like, there's one cool vase that was about this big and round and red. It had a dragon engraved on it. And I thought that was cool, but he was asking for over 20,000 yen for it. I didn't want to pay 20,000 yen for just this tiny, like, little candle holder. But um, I did find some people who were selling, like, the antique obi and some of the old yukata. And some of it didn't look like it was in very good condition. Like, they were selling it and it hadn't been washed to sell. Like, some of the dirt was coming off of my hands, so I didn't want to buy it. But, um, I found the Obi, and this is going to be a Christmas present for my mom, so I'm actually spoiling it. One of the reasons why I did a video, because I was taking camera, taking pictures with my camera, but the battery died taking pictures of the shrine at the flea market. So, I found this woman who was selling really cool Obi, really cool things for Yukata. I don't think it's antique at all. I think it's brand new, but it was at really good price. And so I want to keep an Obi for myself. And so, Mom, you want, you're watching this, so you can pick which one you want. You can pick this one with all the little symbols or this one with the wavy, with the orange and the yellow and the purple. So you can, I just thought they were both gorgeous. I want to keep one for myself to keep around my apartment because... Mom, you have a lot of Obia already, but I figured one will be a Christmas present. And I got a good deal on this. She had these, the woman selling these had these Obi in a box. Oh, this one's starting to fall down. She had these in a box marked, oh, every Obi in this box is 3,000 yen. So basically I paid 6,000 yen for both of them. And the original price of this one, since it's already falling down, because she left the price tags with the original prices on them, so... Ooh, it is just coming up. Here it is. So the original price tag on this, if you can see, I'm not sure if that's the It looks like the original price of this was like 8,500 yen, or that might be a seven. So that might have been like 78,500 yen. So that's a really 
and that she, then that's been marked down to just 3,000 yen for this obi. So this is a really, really good price. And I got other things later that day. But um, also this past weekend I came down with a cold. Not a very serious cold, but I had a really stuffed nose and my sinus was congested. So I had a really bad congested. So I had a really bad headache and had to sleep most of the weekend because of the headache. But I managed to get these awesome Christmas presents. So yeah, I will hang these up one more time so you can admire them both. Okay, mom, so you get to pick. You get to pick either the one that will be on your left or this one here on the right. So just take a moment to look. I think they're both really gorgeous. So, and you already have a lot of obi back home. So one of these is going to be mine and I'll be adding to my own collection, I guess, over time. So take the time to look and send me an email soon and let me know which one you want and I will mail it to you sometime this week when I get the rest of the Christmas presents ready and organized. And very early, Merry Christmas to you and I hope I get to Skype with you guys soon. See you.